In this video, we are going to continue with mathematics paper 2 for 2018. Now we'll consider this one as uh, part 2. Now we'll begin from uh, question 5a, simplify b minus c a over a squared minus b squared. So now how can we simplify a uh, question like this one? So the first thing that we have to do is we need to factorize the numerator and the denominator now for the numerator this is uh, this cannot be factorized so we'll just write it the way it is so b minus c a over now for the denominator we can see that uh, each expression is raised to the power two so we can now uh, use a uh, different uh, of perfect square so we have a squared minus c b squared now since each expression is raised to the power two the first step that we need to undertake is we need to open two uh, pairs of brackets then in here since we have uh, two two a here so we'll write a here and another a here then in, from one bracket we put positive the other one must have a negative so it doesn't matter which one has a negative and a positive as long as the signs are different then the other one we put the b i mean yes the b also here the b now we can see that this expression and this expression are the same so these two expressions are the same what you do is you cancel this you cancel this so from the uh, numerator part, we only have one remaining over a plus b. So this is how we can uh, simplify. Okay, so now we can move on to question 5b. The first three terms of a geometric progression are k plus 4, k and 2k minus 15. So uh, k plus 4, this uh, represents the first term. Then our k is just the second term, 2k minus 15, this one represents the third term. Now the first question is find k and we also have been given a condition that the k must be positive or constant. So in problem like this one, we may have two values of k, one my, my, might be the negative and the other one uh, may be the positive so we are going to choose a positive according to the condition so now how do we find the value of a k so let us introduce how to find the, the common ratio so common ratio can be found by this formula uh, second term divided by first term is also equal to third term over second term so from there, we are going to now make this formula. Second term divided by first term is equal to third term divided by second term. So we can now substitute our, our second term. Our second term is just k over first term. We have k plus 4. Then our third term is 2k minus 15 over our second term is just k now we are going to cross multiply so if we cross multiply we are going to say k times k then here we are going to have k plus 4 then times 2k minus 15 so we can now use the algebra to expand these brackets so the first one we can just say we have k times k this will give us k squared is equal to. now for the other one the k will multiply with the 2k the second one will multiply with negative 15. so k times 2k we get 2k squared then we multiply negative 15 times k is just negative uh, 15 k now let's move on to the other uh, party so this part has uh, 4 we multiply with uh, 2k 
then we multiply with negative 15. So 4 times 2k is just 8k. So we have 80k minus 4 times 15 will give us 60. Now from there, let's uh, collect the like terms. So what we are going to do is this uh, 2x squared will be shifted to this side and we are going to get x squared minus 2k sorry k squared minus 2k squared is equal to here we can see that we can uh, subtract since they have uh, different signs so negative 15k plus 8k is negative 70k minus 60 then here we can see that we have positive k squared minus 2k squared so we are going to subtract and we get negative k squared is equal to negative 7k minus 60. Now let's uh, collect the, these terms to one side. So we can see that we have formed the, the quadratic equation. So this is our negative uh, k squared plus 7k plus 60 is equal to 0. So here we have a b uh, c now we will have two options or i mean three options we can check if we can solve this equation by factorization then we can also check if we can solve it by uh, the formula which is quadratic formula or completing the square so let's check for factorization so for factorization we need to find the product. So the product is just the value of A times the value of C. So the value of A is negative 1 times Z. Our C is 60. So here we get negative uh, 60. Then um, for the sum, sum is just the value of B. In our case, we have positive 7. Now we need two factors that we can multiply to give us negative 16. And if we add them, they should give us positive uh, 7. So let's try those numbers. So we can write our we can write our negative uh, 60. So we can check for 1. 1 into negative 60 is just negative 60. So we know that if we multiply 1 times negative 60 is negative but if we add, we can't have 7. Let's try 2. 2 into negative uh, 60 is negative 30. So if we add, we can't form 7. So let's try 3. 3 into negative uh, 60 is just negative 20. If we add, this cannot work. So let's try, what else? 4. 4 into 4 into negative uh, 60 is 15. So negative 4 plus negative 15 we are unable to to get. So let's try what else? What else can we try? Let's try 5. So 60 divided by 5 it's 12. So here. I'm sure uh, 5 will work. So let me get rid of this since we've tried these numbers. So let's try 5 this time. So 5 into negative 60 is just negative 12. So it's just negative 12. So if we try 5 times negative 12 is negative 60 then 5 minus 12 is just a uh, negative 7 so we're able to get 7 now since our 7 is positive we just change the sign negative 5 plus 12 so that we're able to get uh, 7 so the factors are negative 5 and possible 12 so let's continue so we'll say now, uh, so the factors we are saying we have negative 5, comma, 
uh, 12. So we can now continue. We we'll have negative k squared minus 5k plus 12k plus this is equal to 0. So let's factorize the first part. So from this first part here, we can see that t negative is common and also k is common. So k into negative k squared is positive k. Negative into negative, that is positive. k into 5k. k into 5k is same as we cancel this k and this k. So that is the, the picture there. So k into 5k is just 5. Then from this id, 12 is common. So we take out our 12. So 12 into 12k, we have k plus 12 into 60, we have 5. Then is equal to 0. So we can see that these two are the same. So we the answer is uh, making sense. So from this, we factorize uh, this one. Then uh, we can uh, k plus uh, 5. Then uh, this one. So this one uh, will also form its bracket. So here we are going to have negative k plus 12 is equal to 0. Then k plus 5 must be equal to 0 or negative k plus 12 must be equal to 0. So if we move 5 to the other side, we are going to get k is equal to 0 minus 5, then k is equal to negative 5. Then let's also answer this one. So we have negative k, then the 12 we move to the other side will be 0 minus 12. So negative k is equal to negative 12. Now we divide by negative also here by negative k is equal to positive 12. So we can see that we have two values of k. One is negative, one is positive. So the final answer, our k is equal to 12. Why? because of the condition that k must be positive so we need to ignore the negative part okay so now we can move on to roman number two uh, list the first three terms of the progression so the first term is k plus 12 sorry k plus 4 then the second one is just k the third one is 2k minus 15. Now we found k to be positive 12, so let's substitute where there is k, we put 12, so the first one will be 12 plus 4, 12 plus 4 is equal to 16, so this is our first term, then the second one is just 12, so this is our, then the third one, we substitute 2, then where there is k, we put it. Uh, 12 minus 15 so 2 times 12 uh, 2 times 12 is just 24 minus 15 24 minus 15 is 9 so our third term is just 9 so we've done this question we have found the first three terms Okay, so now we will have Roman number 3, calculate the sum to infinite. So the formula for sum to infinite is, then we have the first one, A, it's 1 over R, given that R is less than 1, or sum to infinite is equal to uh, A over R minus 1, given that the absolute value of R is greater than 0. So between the two formulae, we need to check the one that is uh, applicable. So let's look at the first three terms. We said term number, term number 1 was 16, then term number 2 was 12, then we had the uh, 9. So this is our first term, then we have our second term, we have our third term. So we can now first find the common relation, then from there we'll see 
the form that we can uh, use from the two. So common ratio R is equal to second term over first term. So our second term is 12. Then over our first term is 16. So if we divide 12 divided by 16, so I'm getting 0 0.75. Or if want, we can also find the common ratio by dividing third term. Uh, you divide it with the second term. So the third term is just 9 over 12. So if we divide the 9 divided by 12, you're still getting 0 0.75. Now, from there, we can see that 0 0.75 is less than a uh, one. Any zero point something number is less than that, or any fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator is smaller than one. So the formula that we are going to use is this one. So now let's look at uh, the final answer. So sum to infinite is equal to a is our first term in our sequence as uh, sixteen over. 1 minus C, the common ratio is 0 0.75. So if we subtract 1 minus 0 0.75, we get 0 0.25. So here we have 0 0.25. Then let's divide 16 divided by 0 0.25. Then I'm getting 64. So this is our final answer to this problem. Okay, so now we move on to a question that uh, contains the vectors. In the quadrilateral ABCD below, AB is equal to vector A, AD, vector B, BC is equal to uh, 2B, and AE to AC, we have ratios 1 uh, to 3. Now, first, uh, we need to look at uh, the region where these ratios are. So, A to E is this distance. So, we can see that uh, we have this first number is correlating with AE. Okay, so then uh, we have AC from A to C is the ratio 3. So, what this means is uh, if from A to C is 3, and a to e is 1, then uh, e to c is 2. So here we have 1, then e to c, we just have 2. Now, let's now look at the first question here. The first question is we want to find vector a, e. So we want to move from a uh, to e. So what can we do? So we can't move from a to b, b to e. We don't have the vector here. So what are we going to do? So what we are going to do is first we'll begin by finding vector uh, AC. So let's solve for vector AC. So AC, for us to find the AC, AC we are going to move from A to B, then from B to C. That's what we are going to do. So vector AC is equal to vector AB plus C vector BC. Then from there, uh, vector AB, we can see we have vector A, so it's A plus, then BC, we have this vector to B, to B. So this is the vector for AC. From A to C, we have this vector A plus C to B. Now from this A plus to B, Let's look at what we want. So what we want is just see 1 over 3. 1 over 3 of vector AC is what we want. So from that from that AC, we just want one third of it. Where is this one third coming from? Since from A to E, there is 1. And from A to C, there is 3. So this should be as a fraction. So a to E is just equal to one third of vector AC. 
our AC is vector A plus C to uh, B. Then if we are to expand, this will give us 1 over 3 times A is 1 over 3 vector A plus 1 over 3 times 2B. So 2 times 1 is 2 over 3 of vector B. So this is our final answer. Okay, so now we can get rid of this one. It has done its work. Okay, now let's move on to vector BE. We want to move from B to E here. So, uh, for us to move from B to E, we can move from B to A and from A to E. Since see, B to A we have it and A to E we have it. So, let's do uh, that. So, BE is equal to BA plus CAE. E. So then we can see that from A to B is positive A. What is from B to A? So we are moving against the arrow. So we introduce the negative. So this is negative A plus AE. We have found it before. Uh, so our AE is 1 over 3 of vector A plus 2 over 3 of vector B. Then we can say over 1, we can simplify it further. So the lowest common denominator for 1 and 3 is 3. 1 into 3 is 3 times negative a, negative 3a, uh, plus 3 into 3 is 1 times a, just a, plus uh, 2b over 3. Then our final answer, we can see that here we, can, we are going to subtract. So this will give us negative 2a over 3 plus 2b over 3. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to first begin with the positive part, which is positive uh, 2b. So this will be 2 over 3 of vector b minus 2 over 3 of vector a. So this is our final answer. Then let's move on to vector BD. So vector BD, we are moving from B up to D here. So for us to move from B to, to D, we are going to move from B to A, then from A to D. So that is the route we are going to use. So let's uh, begin. Uh, BD is equal to BA. Let me change the color. So BD is equal to BA plus CAD. Now uh, BA is against the arrow, so it's negative. Negative A. Then here we move toward the arrow, so we just get positive. B. So let's begin with positive B. So it's positive B minus A. Okay, so now uh, let's move on to Roman number 3. Hence or otherwise show that the points B, E and D are collinear. So the points uh, B, E and D are collinear. So how do we show this? So we need to show that B, E and D lie on the same line. So we need to show that this is a straight line. Now how do we show? Let's look at the vectors that we have. The first one, we need to first find the vector from uh, B to E. Then from there we need to find the vector from B to D. Then from there, we'll find the vector from A to D. So let's look at uh, what we have for, for now. So B to E, we have it. We have found it already. So let me write it here. So vector B E, we have it. It's 2 over 3 of B minus 2 over 3 of vector A. Maybe for us to have a clear picture, let's factorize it. 
So if we are to factorize it, we can see that 2 over 3 is common. So let's take out 2 over 3. Then we open brackets. 2 over 3 into 2 over 3b is just b minus 2 over 3 into 2 over 3a is just a. So this is vector BE. Then what of vector BD? Vector BD, we have it. This is our BD. So the only part for us to show, let's just find the vector ED. So we can see that BD, BE, and ED are the vectors on the same line. So from there, we are going to make a, a conclusion. So let's see what we are going to do. First, see, let me get rid of this. So let me create some spaces here. Okay, so now from there, let's find the vector ED. So for us to move from E to D, we'll move from E to A and A to D. We can see that we have uh, AE, we have it. So move EA plus A D. Then uh, let's look at uh, AE. AE we we have it. AE is uh, here. We have it. We have this expression. So AE we have it. It is one over three A plus two over three uh, B. So this is AE, but we want ES. So this means that we are moving against the arrow. So we are going to introduce negative sign to each expression here. So this one will have negative 1 over 3 of vector A minus 2 over 3 of vector B. Plus C, what's our AD? AD is just the, uh, AD is just C, B. So let's see simplify this part so over one so one over three uh, the lowest common denominator here is three then uh, three into three is one times negative two that is negative to b plus one into three is three times three b we have three b then ed is equal to 1 over 3 of A. Then if we add the denominator, I mean the numerator party, we are going to get 1B, which is, which is 1 over 3 of vector B. Now let's uh, begin with B since it has a positive. So ED is equal to 1 over 3 vector B minus 1 over 3 vector A. So let's uh, let us see, take out one over three since one over three is common. So one over three. So we divide one over three into one over three b is just b minus. We have taken out one over three, so we have a uh, negative a. Now let's look at uh, our how we can now show. So let's look at uh, b d. So the vector b d has a uh, b minus c a then the vector b e has e b minus a the vector e d has e b minus a don't worry about the number so the number is just uh, telling us maybe the size but since we can see that we have a common expression for for these three are vectors that lie on the same straight line the one i've drawn with green we can now uh, conclude that uh, b a and d are collinear so we'll say b uh, e and d are collinear are collinear because they have they have they have the same vector they have the same vector so this is what you can uh, show okay so now we move on to question 
uh, 6b the program below is given in pseudocode so the first statement we have start enter xy uh, let m is equal to square root then in brackets uh, x squared plus y squared if m is less than zero then display error message m must be positive else end if display m then it will stop now for questions like uh, this one for a computer program they differ how these question comes so you need to be uh, very extra careful here now let's uh, draw the corresponding flowchart for the information given above so we'll begin with the first step here so we can see that t we have the start so we'll say start so we know the shape to use whenever we are we are entering start then from the start let's look at what followed so we have the condition of enter x comma y so x and y are referring as now input in this particular question so the input must be indicated in the parallelogram shape so we we'll say enter x comma y so we need to have a parallel radiogram so that is the, the polygon that we indicate for input as well as the output then after enter the then let's look at what followed so what followed here was the it's like the formula we have been given let m is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared so this is the processing now the processor or the to show the process you need to write the rectangle so the rectangle is what will come here so is what will come here so say m uh, m is equal to, then for square root we can write the square root a uh, symbol here then we have inside x squared plus y squared so this is our formula so we've entered the we are assuming that we've entered the x and y we don't know what those values are so we've entered these uh, values x and y then we need to look at the after we've done this stage what followed so what followed was if m is less than e, zero now under the pseudocode they use language like if m but uh, whenever you are trying to use a flowchart you convert if m must become is m so if m less than zero this changes to is m less than e zero so you make it a question so this is the language that you need to to convert from uh, a pseudocode into a flowchart so we are going to have a diamond here so a diamond is used to show the decision making process so we we'll say is m less than e zero so we are expecting two answers the first answer is we expect to say yes or we expect to say no now be regard uh, uh, depending on the number that we have chosen and we are just assuming we don't know if this will give us a positive or a negative so if uh, m gives us uh, a negative number any negative number is always less than uh, zero so if this the value of m gives us the negative number therefore we have been given the condition of we display error message so if we say yes we agree to the statement that m is less than e, zero then we need to have another parallelogram so that we indicate the the output so the output here will say display error message then the condition is m must be positive okay then 
let's say we we said no if we say no we are assuming that the value of m is uh, positive so if it is positive so now the picture is then then simply means as yes else simply means as no so if we say yes we are saying you display error message so or else this else simply means now if we say no so if we say no we are assuming that the value of m is positive and d that is what we want so we are going to have now the last stage we are going to say now another display here so if no we are going to display m so this is what we wanted display uh, m then from there let's look at see what came after display then we stop so this is how we can write a flowchart from the uh, pseudocode so this is how we can uh, as revise some more questions so for more uh, questions please feel free to write them down in the comment section below and uh, for those that may be interested in the online lessons uh, please also feel free to write your your request in the comment section below so that's it for this video thanks for watching